this is Steve Monenbach. Today, I want to talk to you about um, how to generate immigration leads. Uh, if you're a, a lawyer or an attorney that, that does immigration law, maybe in Florida or California, Texas, somewhere in the South, or anywhere really, it doesn't matter. Um, I have found kind of the targeting you should use to help your immigration law practice get more clients. So let's just go ahead and hop in. This is the Facebook ads platform. If you're not familiar with it, let's just go ahead and hop in here. Um, this is where I actually set the targeting for who is actually going to see the ads themselves. Uh, so here we have the daily budget you set, however much you want to spend to get new clients per day. That would go into this box right here. Then if you go further down, you have the uh, area. So in this case, I was talking to an attorney a minute ago in Hollywood, Florida. So I set the pin on Hollywood, Florida, set a 50 mile radius. So anybody within this colored area right here is going to see the ads that would be displayed, right? Age, you can select whatever age you think is appropriate. Uh, I just picked 18 and up, so it covers all the ages. There'll probably be some people that, you'll, you'll find some age groups will perform better than others. So as you go with your ads, you can just kind of segment in on the, the higher performing um, age groups. I got men and women selected. Here you can do, you can do uh, English, oops, do English, all you could do um, Spanish as well. You could do, uh, actually, I would do, yeah, I guess I would do Spanish as well. Um, and then you can go further down. This is where I, I already did some research. So here you have people who are interested in citizenship in the United States. Obviously, if you're an immigration attorney, that's going to be really good for you. Uh, you can see there's a lot of people over here, over 3 million people in the U.S. Uh, and then if you wanted to split out each particular interest by itself, you could see how many of those people were in Florida, but in the U S there's that many people interested in citizenship. Uh, so it says all of that right there. Immigration lawyer, people who are interested in immigration lawyer, people who are in interested in immigration. See, it says interest over here. That means it's an interest. People have liked pages relating to this topic on Facebook somewhere. That's why it knows that they are interested. So obviously immigration to the United States, if you're an immigration attorney, that would be like your bread and butter right there. That's probably the best interest to target. And then uh, permanent residence in the United States, I thought would be valuable as well. United States citizenship, citizenship and immigration services, visa policy of the United States. Uh, all of these things are, are probably relevant. You got immigration law. Some people might be interested in that, but I thought you know that'd be more along the lines of an attorney might be clicking on that, so I didn't include it. Visa requirements, you got immigration in general, so that could be a good one too. Permanent residency, visa, a lot of other interests you can target in here as well. Um, and then after that, I figured because it's Florida, you probably have a lot of uh, Latin or Hispanic people coming into the country. So you can select, you could, you could do two things. You select these different immigration interests and then you make it so it must also match uh, that they speak Spanish or they're at least bilingual or they speak Spanish mostly, right? So you cross those two, these two things together uh, in order to find your ideal kind of sweet spot. And then on top of that, let's say you're concerned about whether people can, can pay you actually for your immigration uh, legal services, right? You can go to demographics, we can go to financial income. So how much money do you want them to be making per year? You know, maybe you want them to be making 75,000 a year, 50,000 a year, whatever, you know, whatever it takes. Uh, to become a client. Like, look how that substantially dropped the number of people in the area that fit. It was at like 79,000 before. So you select all of these. So let's say you're only going to work with people who are making at least 50,000 a year. That leaves you 43,000 people who are, who are interested in immigration at the top, who are Hispanic and who make over 50,000 a year that are all within this colored area on the map, right? And then as you run the ads, you can mess with the age targeting as well. Then on top of that, the last thing you have to decide, where do you want the ads to show up at? Do you want them to show only on mobile phones? Do you want them to show on, on desktop computers? Or do you want them to show on, on all devices, which include like tablets, all that stuff? That's another option. Then you can select Facebook, what parts of Facebook, the newsfeed, instant articles, Instagram on, on the newsfeed, or not even at all. Maybe you don't want any Instagram. You can get rid of it. Or you could run two different ad, ad sets separately, one on Instagram, one on Facebook, see which one performs better. Split test it, right? 
So that's just some of the stuff you can do. Uh, if you're some of the settings you can you can set up if you are an immigration law attorney on Facebook. Obviously, it looks like it's it's pretty good for that. So if you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. My name's Steve Monenbach. I own the company Wilder Marketing. Uh, I work with attorneys, hard money lenders, mortgage mortgage brokers, real estate agents. Uh, I can do basically anything really. But give me a call if you're interested. My number is 503-551-8690 or email me at steve at wildermarketing.com. Wilder is spelled W-Y-L-D-E-R. All right, that's about all I've got for today. Hope to hear from you soon.